Welcome to DML Discovery Metal Legion. Now, I do apologize. I do apologize. I'm um, not doing a video for like 10 days just because I'm tr getting over COVID-19 once again. This is like the third time since I've had COVID-19. And honestly, I'm quite sick of it. But November was a month for some really good black and death metal albums and welcome to the best black and death metal albums of november 2022 hope you do also enjoy this brand new set this brand new background ever since mod changed the set music destruction changed the set i decided to change my set as well gone is that boring background of just the computer and now we are replaced with an artificial background filled with many special effects and I hope you do enjoy the DML uh, studio. Um, let's get on with this video. So I'm still not 100% but I will try and get through this video without coughing and sneezing and masturbating. So coming up at number 10 is Hibernus Mortis and their album The Monoliths of Cursed Slumber. <laughs> Now, this is a death metal band. They do play around with some great guitar work along with some impactful drumming. Production's really good as well. And overall, I do love the aesthetic feel of the overall production. Really good songs like To Drink, The Blood of the Black Ship. Um, technical work throughout Vomitus Imperium. You've got songs like Invocations of Never. I do love the atmosphere on this album. Darkness, Desolate Realms. Hibernus Mortis is a very good uh, death metal album of um, November 2022. Next up we go to Golodus and the album, the self-titled album Golodus. <laughs> This Polish black metal band is very good indeed. Um, they do play around with some punkier flavors on Gola This. Some really interesting songs as well. Really enjoy Najagorza Kara, which has some great guitar rhythms and great guitar lead. Production is really good, has that raw tone to it. And yeah, it's a very good uh, album to sink your teeth in. Very good. Solitude of Sadness as well. Great lyrics and yeah, I really did enjoy it. But would it make it my best black metal albums of the year? Probably not, but I do enjoy the overall layouts. The, the, the songwriting is really good as well. Next up is A Different Cloud and the album Salt. <laughs> You like atmospheric black metal? You're gonna really enjoy this. Now the only main problem is probably the last bit, the ambient bit, um, Cosmogonus. Uh, that was okay, I guess, but the rest of this album, from the source to the prophecy, is just brilliant. If you want some atmospheric, hard-hitting black metal with some very cool, um, really cool instrumentals on this, like guitar work is fantastic. The drumming is very impactful, but the production overall is quite raw, but overall this album is very clean cut as well. Uh, Salt, A Different Cloud, the instrumentals are very uh, laid out very well. Um, the Wonder is such a fantastic song, The Star, The Prophecy, really good um, album. Uh, the Cosmogus is a interesting, interesting way to end off the album, but it works overall. So if you like that atmospheric black metal ambient side of things, definitely check out a different cloud, Salt. Next up, we channel in the inner doom of black metal. It is Del Trauschwan and the album Sanguinera Vampiris. Swedish black metal band really channel in the inner doom just really good stuff 
Um, I do love the instrumentals. The production is quite clean and the vocals have this raw aesthetic. The vocals are fantastic on this. It's black and doom metal. It is so damn good to where the pathway goes. At times this album reminds me of something I like Solar the Sun. It's got those stimulating riffs along with just aggressive vocals, but the vocals are in the black metal aesthetic style. Sigrun of Vampiris is such a great album overall. To Where Known Pathway Goes is such a fun song. Segrenir and Vampiris, Out of Sight, Out of Mind. Really hard hitting stuff. Production's fantastic. It's not lo fi, it's nothing like that. It's, it's one of the best sounding black and doom metal albums of this year. So, yeah, definitely check out Segrenir Vampiris by De Trauschwan, the Swedish black and death, black and doom metal band. Next up is an interesting album overall. I put color this. And no doubt I'm going to put Black Anvil in the album Regenesis. This is a very good album. If you like that thrashy style black metal, you're going to really enjoy this. And I do love the folkier elements that laden throughout this album. And not to mention some really good production as well. The vocals at times can be at times a little bit on the aggression, but they work overall. Experimental black metal album from Black Anvil. Great songs like Into the Bet. 29. There's really nothing much I can complain about this album. That is really good. It's really fun. Maybe I would have liked the album to be slightly shorter. Slightly shorter, but um, overall, just a very good um, black metal album. A lot of thrashier moments. More on the thrashier side. Reminds me of bands like uh, Woad a little bit. Especially the, the previous album, very similar to the sound of Woad, but um, yeah, Black Anvil Regenesis is a very good uh, black metal album. Next up is a Polish death metal band. Oh yes, Polish are doing death metal now. We got Vefa and the album Ascension Through Torture. <laughs> Overall, very good album. Very good album. The, the vocals are female. The female vocals are fantastic. You wouldn't think they were female. Holy shit. The vocals are aggressive. They're guttural. Some great um, guitar work on this. This is like the old school style of death metal. So it's old school death metal. I just love the um, really good songwriting on this. Blood Ocean, such a fantastic song. Style of Moon. Uh, yada, yada, yada. So really good uh, death metal for November. So if you like that old school death metal flavor, send very similar to like Morbid Angel and even Obituary, even Cannibal Corpse, all, all, the, all that kind of, all those old school death metal bands, you're gonna really enjoy Vifa Ascension Through Torture. Her vocals are amazing. Hey, if you do enjoy that epic symphonic black metal side of things, like bands such as Fire and Holt, Summoning, Callum fucking brood, Witcher, you're gonna really enjoy Mist of Misery. Mist of Misery and the album Severance. Yes, this is um, a brilliant epic black metal album it really is this will take you on a vet trip will take you on a snowy trip to the forest and it is absolutely fantastic i played this album album countless times throughout this month and holy shit it just works wonders it really does some great atmospheric black metal mixed with epic symphonic black metal as well the vocals are absolutely incredible and you're gonna really enjoy this side of black metal great songs like the long road a somber solace through night's gloom. Just love the overall symphonic elements, the beautiful keyboards you are getting. The melody are so damn good. They will get stuck in your head. Definitely check out Mr. Misery Severance. It is an amazing, epic, symphonic black metal album. But hey, I gotta mention, I gotta mention Song of Salvation by Dream Unending Atmospheric Funeral Doom. <laughs> A lot of people
people say they're Death Doom. I don't get, I don't understand Death Doom or Doom Death uh, elemental things. This is more of a Funeral Doom album, Song of Salvation, and my god, it is slow. It is slow, it really is. It's atmospheric, it's dark, vocals are absolutely fantastic. Song of Salvation to kick off the album, which is like 14 minutes long. Really good instrumentals, dark melodies, and it is just a, it's just a beautiful, beautiful Funeral Doom album. Easily one of the best Doom Metal albums of this year. Ecstatic Rain, which is like 16 minutes, really punches you in the face. The really crushing guitar riffs you were getting on the elements of Funeral Doom. It's so damn good, it really is. It is easily one of the best metal albums of this year. But hey, if you just want some straightforward black metal, come to Jevil in the album Nascrida Nut and Sort. This Norwegian black metal band sounds very similar to like Nathbird, all those, but the melodies on this are absolutely incredible. If you like, if you like, if you like bands, Svashen, Horton Rife, even like Horton Rife, you like bands like Horton Rife, Norge Evil, you're going to friggin' enjoy Jevil. This is such a great album, it really is. The melodies are absolutely amazing. Just the songwriting on this is just brilliant. I just love how atmospheric and dark this album sounds. It is top notch black metal. You guys need to hear it. Easily one of the best black metal albums of this month. Easily one of the best black metal albums of the year as well. It gave me goosebumps listening to it. The melodies are absolutely fantastic. And the production's really good as well. You gotta listen to Jevil. Go listen to Jevil and that album, Nascrida, Nut and Sort, if you haven't already. If you like that old style black metal sound with the hint of the um, late production, production's phenomenal on this as well. It's brilliant. Definitely check it out. Definitely check it out after this video. You'll really enjoy Jevil. Okay, but, but one album that trumps it all. It's none other than Druk, all belong to the night. I said in my album review that this is a fantastic album by Druk. Um, even the circumstances that have, they've gone through with this, with the war with Russia and everything, it's amazing how a Ukrainian band are able to produce such quality black metal like All Belong to the Night. Easily, easily fantastic, melancholic black metal, the atmospheric black metal, and great melodies that really do get stuck in your head. The guitar work is amazing, it is getting so friggin' hot in here, but I tell you what, I absolutely loved this album. Windmills is such a great song, it really is. The Nocturnal one was fantastic as well, but Till We Become the Haze is easily one of the best Druk songs I've ever heard for about 15 minutes. Great, melancholic, black metal, easily one of the most darkest, evil sounding Druk albums as well but also quite a fun album to listen to. Yes, you're gonna really enjoy Druk, all belong to the 90s. Ukrainian band kicks goals, and they've always kicked goals. There's not one bad album like I did in my Druk album review and ranking. Holy shit, it is absolutely amazing. Check out Druk, all belong to the night. And yeah, Druk is my number one black metal album. Um, and Dream Mountain Ending is my like, number one death metal album, if you could say that. Um, well, Funeral Do metal album of the month. Definitely check it out. Definitely check out, check out Druk if you haven't already. I don't understand why, because I've really shilled these guys um, throughout the coming weeks, but yeah, even though I haven't posted a video, uh, even though I haven't posted a video for like 10 days, holy shit. But yeah, yeah, more videos coming your way. Let me know in the comments below your favorite black and death metal albums of November. Keep discussing on the comment section below and I will see you in the next one.